Hey guys, so I am in a legit Indy car simulator, but this is really what an Indy car is like. Uh, I don't know how these drivers do it, to be honest, but they do it with the backup of a safety team. We have the AMR Indy car safety team. Tim Boffman here with me as I'm climbing awkwardly out of the car. So Tim, you guys really work with this, practice with it, and then uh, have to be put into action. Friday, Carb Day, for example, you guys were there helping out driver the crash. Uh, what is it that you do? How important are you? Well, the AMR IndyCar Safety Team takes 16 members to every Indy, NTT IndyCar race. Um, it's one of the few motorsports series that has a traveling safety team. Our team's very familiar with the cars. Obviously, we have a real training piece here that we work with. Uh, we have tools for uh, firefighting, for extrication, for driver removal. Uh, we have uh, trucks that we take with us, our Chevy Silverados are custom made uh, to go on the road with us and serve us to get out on the track in a fast response like we did on Friday mm -hmm. with Colton Hurtis of Crash. Um, we, we take great pride. Uh, all of our firefighter paramedics are, um, are, are experienced veterans on their normal jobs out doing working the streets from the firehouses. But then on race weekends, they, they join me and join the team and come out and take care of the drivers. What an amazing team it is. So this is quite impressive. Talk me through a little bit on how you guys prepare uh, with a car like this. So basically, this is a true 2012 Delara chassis. Um, it is an Indy car without the engine, the wheels, and the wings, um, and the fuel cell. But what it does is it gives us real-time practice evolution so that we can practice and be you know, very efficient at getting the driver out. We know the, how to get the steering wheel, how to get the seat belts off. If we have to remove certain parts of the car to get the driver out, mm -hmm. we can do that. And we have special tools that go down in the car to keep the driver's head, neck, and back in straight in a line so that we don't injure them further. And our goal is to do that in less than two minutes and get the driver to the hospital. Show me a little bit. You pulled out the wheel quickly. How do you do that? So just reach in, pull the release, and the wheel's off. What about the seatbelts? Seatbelts have just basically one clasp to hit. It's a quarter turn, quarter turn cam. You turn that and all the belts come loose. Wow. Okay, so you're training me a bit today. I have the gloves on. Uh, I'm clearly a rookie, but you uh, showed me this tool over here. What is this? Talk me through it and then I'll try it out. Well, I'm going to grab the, you go ahead and grab the tool. You got some gloves on. So heavy. this is not, not heavy. <laughs> now quit. Now, okay, so what is this? So this is a, a power hydraulic cutter by Homaltro. It basically cut everything in the car except for the except for the actual upper frame. So basically, if we need to cut a suspension part, part of the tub, it can be done. And these are brand new tools. Total electric, lightweight, no cords, no pump. We just go to work. It really is amazing. I mean, look at that. Like, anyone could do it, but you have to be specialty trained. Thank you so much for educating me today. So, uh, we're ready. You're ready. I'm ready. We're going to go save some people.